Have you ever wondered why a hippopotamus, despite being the third largest land mammal, is such an excellent swimmer? It's a question that's baffled many. These colossal creatures tipping the scales at up to 7,000 pounds are surprisingly agile both on land and in water. And it's not just their size that's impressive, but their swimming prowess as well. The hippopotamus, or river horse as it's known in ancient Greek, is an aquatic marvel, capable of holding its breath for up to five minutes while submerged. Their short legs, which seem ill-suited for swimming, are actually powerful paddles propelling them through the water with grace and ease. But how does a creature of such size and weight float and swim with such agility? What secrets lie beneath the surface of these massive mammals' aquatic abilities? There's more to the hippopotamus than meets the eye. Stick around to uncover the fascinating secrets of these giant swimmers. Contrary to popular belief, hippos cannot actually swim. Sounds surprising, doesn't it? But it's true. Hippos, despite spending most of their lives in water, don't actually possess the ability to swim. These gigantic creatures, which can weigh up to three and a half tons, have bodies too dense to float. So how do they move in water, you might ask? They do so by pushing off the bottom and bouncing along, much like how an astronaut moves on the moon. They are able to propel themselves towards the surface of the water where they can take a breath before sinking back down. This bouncing movement, combined with their ability to hold their breath for up to five minutes, allows them to traverse bodies of water with ease. But that's not all. Hippos also walk along the riverbed. They are excellent divers and can use their short legs to walk or run along the bottom of rivers and lakes. This is a unique adaptation that lets them move around their aquatic homes, all while staying mostly submerged and protected from the sun's harsh rays. Moreover, the eyes, ears, and nostrils of hippos are located high on the roof of their skulls. This unique feature allows them to see, hear, and breathe while most of their body is underwater, further aiding their movement in aquatic environments. Now let's debunk another common myth. Many people believe that hippos are slow due to their massive size. Yet on land, hippos can run at speeds of up to 30 miles per hour, faster than most humans. This combination of speed, power, and their aquatic adaptations make hippos one of the most fascinating creatures on the planet. So next time you see a hippo swimming, remember, it's all an illusion. These colossal creatures are simply bouncing or walking their way through the water. And who knows, maybe their unique way of navigating their watery homes is part of what makes them so captivating to us. Now, did you know that hippos are nocturnal creatures? Yes, these massive mammals have quite a unique lifestyle that's tailored to their needs. Just imagine, as the sun rises and the African plains start to heat up, hippos retreat to the cool comfort of the water. They spend their days submerged, with just their eyes, ears, and nostrils peeking out. This aquatic lifestyle helps them maintain their body temperature and protect their sensitive skin from the harsh sun. But when the sun sets and the temperature drops, that's when the real action begins for our hippo friends. As the darkness blankets the savanna, hippos venture out of their watery havens and embark on their nightly quest for food. Their diet, almost entirely made up of grass. Yes, despite their enormous size, these giants are vegetarians, relying on the green carpet of the savanna to fuel their massive bodies. They use their wide, powerful jaws to pull up grass in their lips, which can stretch up to two feet wide to gather it in. Now, if you're wondering about the quantity, brace yourselves. An adult hippo can eat up to 80 pounds of grass in a single night. That's nearly the weight of an average 12-year-old child. They spend about five to six hours grazing, covering distances of up to five miles. And while they may seem slow and cumbersome on land during the day, don't be fooled. At night, these creatures can move quite swiftly, reaching speeds of up to 14 miles per hour. Such a lifestyle has allowed the hippo to flourish in habitats that might otherwise be too harsh. Their nocturnal habits help them avoid the extreme heat, while their aquatic lifestyle offers protection from predators. So, the next time you see a hippo lounging in the water, remember, they're just saving up their energy for their nightly feast. Eating up to 80 pounds of grass in a night, the hippo is certainly a heavyweight champion. Imagine sleeping underwater and not drowning. Sounds impossible, right? Not for the hippopotamus. Now let's delve into this fascinating aspect of hippo life. Hippos have an extraordinary ability to sleep underwater, but that's not all. 
They can do it without even waking up to breathe. How, you ask? Well, it's a remarkable combination of instinct and biological adaptation. Much like our heart continues to beat without conscious thought, the hippo's body knows when to surface and take a breath. It's an automatic process that occurs every three to five minutes. Diving into the specifics, the hippo's nostrils and ears have evolved to support this underwater lifestyle. When a hippo submerges, its ears and nostrils close up tight, creating a watertight seal. This seal prevents water from entering their airways and ears, enabling them to comfortably spend extended periods underwater. But the wonder doesn't stop here. The positioning of the hippo's eyes, ears, and nostrils high on their head is another evolutionary marvel. This arrangement allows them to keep most of their body submerged while still being able to see, hear, and breathe. It's like having your own built-in snorkeling gear. So picture it, a hippo submerged in the cool waters, dozing off after a long day of grazing. Its body, acting on pure instinct, gently rises to the surface every few minutes for a breath of air. Its nostrils and ears, perfectly adapted for the task, ensure that no water intrudes, and all the while, the hippo remains blissfully asleep, undisturbed by the need to breathe. It's an incredible adaptation that highlights the wonders of evolution and the extraordinary lives of these underwater breathers. Only in the intriguing world of hippos do you find such a unique blend of relaxation and survival. Sleeping while not forgetting to breathe, now that's a skill only a hippo can master. Ever wondered how hippos communicate? It's not as simple as you might think. Hippos, these colossal creatures that roam the African savannas and swim in its rivers, have a communication system that is as sophisticated as it is fascinating. They don't just resort to simple grunts and bellows as one might assume, there's so much more to it. Let's begin with the vocalizations. Hippos use a wide range of sounds to express themselves, from low-frequency grunts and high-pitched squeals to deep resonant bellows that can be heard up to a mile away. Each sound carries a different message, whether it's a mother reassuring her calf, a male asserting his dominance, or a group alerting each other to danger. But the communication doesn't stop there. Hippos also use physical displays to get their point across. A wide open mouth, for instance, isn't a yawn or a smile, but a warning. It's a hippo's way of saying, back off, this is my territory. And then there's the most intriguing aspect of hippo communication, the underwater vocalizations. Yes, you heard that right. Hippos, despite being semi-aquatic, can communicate underwater. They produce a unique sound that travels through the water, allowing them to talk to each other without even coming up for air. It's like their own version of underwater telephony. It's also worth mentioning that hippos use their dung in a peculiar way to mark territory and communicate their presence. By spinning their tails while defecating, hippos scatter their dung around leaving a clear, smelly message to other hippos. This is my turf. This intricate system of communication reveals just how social hippos are. They're not the solitary, grumpy beasts we often picture them to be. Instead, they're part of a complex, interconnected social structure where every grunt, bellow, and dung scatter plays a crucial role. With a communication system that intricate, hippos are more social than you'd think. Unraveling the mysteries of the hippopotamus has been quite a journey, hasn't it? We ventured into the world of these captivating creatures, discovering facts and facets that often remain hidden beneath the surface of common knowledge. We've journeyed through the life of the hippopotamus from their uncommon traits to their nocturnal grazing habits. We've learned about the fascinating dynamics of their underwater breathing, a feature that's as unique as it is remarkable. And we've explored the intriguing world of hippo communication, a complex system that speaks volumes about their social structures and interactions. These creatures are more than just their size and strength. They are a testament to the wonders of nature, a testament to the beauty of the wild, and a testament to the magic that lies within each species that graces our planet. The hippopotamus, with their intriguing traits and behaviors, has shown us that there is always more to learn, more to discover. They've reminded us that every creature holds secrets waiting to be unraveled, mysteries waiting to be solved. So let's continue this journey of discovery. Let's keep diving into the depths of the animal kingdom, unearthing facts that astound us, behaviors that fascinate us, and species that captivate our curiosity. 
And as we continue this journey, let's remember to appreciate the beauty of nature, to respect its inhabitants, and to marvel at its wonders. After all, the world is full of mysteries, and the joy of discovery is one of the greatest pleasures life has to offer. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the fascinating world of hippos, subscribe to our channel for more such enlightening journeys. Let's keep exploring the wonders of nature together.